Camera moves and blocking make for a mean combo in this Hollywood classic high noon scene. This is a case study on directing from a Hollywood classic. Let's set the stage for our scene. Throughout the movie, Cary Grant is trying to rally up a posse for a showdown, but everyone refuses to help. Slow this down. Helen, not Grace Kelly's character, is the one wantingly looking because it's that much more dramatic later when Grace Kelly returns, and we need a glance to motivate this next shot. Her POV layered with feeling. It's a wide, so he's part of the location, powerless. It feels shaky, like it's on a wagon. As he gets smaller, even weaker, they get further. All this is showing he's being abandoned. This shot is like a sentence, similar to a push-in shot, stopping with a climactic period as a line of dialogue. You! Here, his looking away gives the moment, the pullout, its completion. Everything in this location, the bad guy's location, is designed to make it feel populated. Not using extremely wide lenses, not a lot of empty space at the edges of the frame. Characters move around in bunches here with little space between them. Here, they fill up almost the entire frame. How are you, Frank? Ready? The main boss's face is hidden, similar to what happened in Spider-Verse with the introduction of Kingpin. Again, the glance motivates the cutaway. Camera looking up at him as he gets closer. Closer means he's getting bigger in frame, and he's got the power. All of this part is designed to make Marshall feel alone. A close-up to establish his state of mind, worry. Now a crane out, hiding the neighboring buildings. We now look from above, showcasing the empty ground, void of even shadows. Revealing the town is empty of all people. The fight is coming. This crane out adds tension by revealing information. Notice he walks toward the empty space instead of the edge of frame. Smash subscribe and like to think and read films like a film director. Thanks for watching guys.